Hey, what's up, you guys? Craft Farms here, and welcome back to another video. So today we got a few things going on. So first, you can see here uh, we got the corn head and sunflower head in this machine shed here, um, and then we got the snow blower sitting back in here with the uh, 886 in front of that, and then we got the Alice uh, tucked up in the corner there. Um, we got our John Deere 90 skid steer with our um, hitch attachment sitting there that's just waiting for our corn planter to be ready to go in um, if you notice no macdon um, and another thing you may notice combine sheds open or the harvest shed I should say and the combines gone so whoops if we go over here to dealership we have the John Deere 9610 parked up down here and if we go on inside this building here you can see that we have our Macdon header here we're gonna go ahead and we are going to sell that for sixty six thousand three hundred and seventy two dollars and then we're gonna go ahead and open up the shop menu go on over here to headers and we're going to find the John Deere 6, let's see, do we want to go with the 30 foot or the 35 foot? Hmm, we'll probably go with the 30 foot because the 30 foot kind of fits on this combine a little bit better with the uh, auger and everything. So we'll pick that up and then we'll go on over here to header trailers and we'll pick up a header trailer for that and then we're going to go ahead we're gonna grab the combine and we're gonna go ahead and throw this header on the trailer and get the trailer hooked up to the combine and then we are going to um, go ahead and set him up on course play and get him going back to the farm so if we throw out the auger here you guys can kind of see what I mean this 30 foot's kind of gonna be about perfect now this header trailer on the other hand might be a little bit small but it's what we're going to roll with for the time until we have the money oh shoot Still we have the money for a better one that kind of fits this header a little more, maybe. I may actually have to get a different header trailer. Okay, so back to the store it is. Uh, let's pop over to the garage. We'll find that header trailer we just bought. I thought it would fit on there, but I guess not. Where on earth? Oh. Uh this one correct yes okay so it looks like we are going to need we don't need the Elmer's trailer I don't think because this I think is a big trailer yeah that's a big trailer so we're gonna go ahead and pick up the Umberfirth 536 header trailer then because that's yeah, that's what it's going to take to uh, haul this header. So, we'll get this guy thrown on here. I'm going to line up a little bit better. There we go. That sits on that trailer a whole lot better than it did on that other one. It actually stays, so that's a plus. Alright, we'll go ahead and get uh, course loaded up to go from the shop to the farmyard. I'm going to move these two pro till courses up here yet. Just realized that I uh, hadn't gone around to getting them done. So, ideally, this is not the way that I should be pulling this header trailer with this combine because of the chopper but 
just because it was a little bit quicker, a little bit easier to get it going, to get it done, to just bring the combine down here. That's what I did. Plus, I thought that I'd be able to use that other header trailer. I didn't think I'd, uh, I'd have to be getting this one. So, we're going to go ahead and set him to drive the course. And while he is doing that, we are going to go find this guy right here. S, right? Yes. Control S. Load course. Are you kidding me? Why are you way over there? Oops. There we go. Um, and I did throw my old unit convert version into my mods folder so that way it was back to the bushels and everything not still being leaders and all that junk. Because I do not want it in leaders. I want it in bushels and tons and all of that. Yeah, we just got one more pass left here on this big cornfield, and then we're going to go ahead and get uh, field 76 done up. Get that one planted quick uh, while we are working on getting our new header to the farm and all that. Getting all that taken care of, and then we got to get these two pieces of machinery cleaned up. Both of them can get put away now, because uh, these two will be done uh, for this year so that will be nice to have both of these put away and then we can get uh, some other stuff put away in the shed as well because um, then we can get our draper or our not our draper but our grain head into the shed and then we can get that uh, international put in the shed and out of the rain I'm sure the seats getting wet oh, shoot, wrong button. thankfully it didn't actually hire otherwise I'd be screwed this is our last pass of this field this field has taken me a long time to plant I think in total between yesterday's video, the little bit that we're doing now, uh, plus the amount I did off camera, I think probably about an hour to plant this field alone. So, it definitely has taken quite some time to get planted. Uh, okay, so our combine should be driving by up there here in just a moment this rain has got to quit at some point or another it's definitely starting to get very very old alright come on where are you at he should be going by here any second oh I just seen it should be going by right there there he is. Header's still on the trailer, so that's a good sign. That's always a plus when it uh, can actually do its job. As you can see, we do have the uh, Dodge coming, sitting over there um, until we get done with the field here. And then we'll have to take that up and go get our sprayer eventually. Okay. So we can deactivate off of that course. We'll get this guy folding up. While this guy is folding, we're going to go ahead 
hop into this guy here clear him of that course get course play closed up and then uh, we'll go ahead and get this guy in the yard we'll get it over kind of by the shed and we'll unhook it and then we'll get the combine put away and then we'll jump into that skid steer and get the uh, header trailer tucked away or at least see if we can get it tucked away oh boy okay and we're gonna run low frame rate again today cool that's just great So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna drop that there. And then we'll go get this combine put back into the shed, or into the uh, Quonset that we had it in. I think it might be this rain that's doing this. For some dumb reason, I don't know why the rain would be doing it, but, all right. make sure that we don't hit anything with this combine we were close to hitting that cart tractor thankfully we did not okay we got that put away and that closed up so we'll go ahead come up here we're gonna grab this skid steer now we're gonna go over here we're gonna grab this header trailer here We'll see if we can't get this in the shed without completely jackknifing it and making it look all screwed up. Hmm, what I think I might actually do. Oops, come on. We're gonna pull the backhoe out. So another thing too that this will come in handy for is uh, pulling this backco jump o uh, jump auger around, um, or you know our auger, rather than having to hook like the four wheeler to the jump auger or the pickup to the unload auger. But actually, I think what we could do. I think we might be able to tuck this back over there if I can do it right. Oops. It helps if you turn the right way. It helps just a little bit. So we're going to get it close to that stock trailer as we can get back up just a little bit that'll do right there and then we're going to tuck that grain head kind of along the wall and then we'll put the corn planter kind of in the middle where we had our corn header uh, before we kind of shuffled stuff around. Okay, let's see if we can manage to do this at least halfway is decent.
be a lot easier if it was a uh, normal header trailer not like this one with that dolly wheel that definitely makes it a whole lot more complicated oh and uh, the touchiness of these freaking skid steers does not help either way back end of the trailer right there is hitting the wall Alright, there we got her. So we should be able to fit the corn planter nicely in here. So hopefully it's not raining tomorrow, otherwise that's gonna really put a damper on all the plans. For planting corn or for cutting hay, not planting corn, that's what we're about to do right now. We're gonna finish up this field. Once it gets done saving, that is. Let's go ahead and we'll get this over here. So we can get cranking on this field here and get this one done. This field isn't too big so it shouldn't take us too terribly long. And in fact I'm going to actually probably just turn. Whoops. Um, we're just going to turn GPS off. Because this field's not very big, it's not going to take us super long. And I'm just going to kind of be going around and around it, so. So last field of corn, here we are. Still got quite a bit of work left to do before we're done with uh, this day of spring this last day of spring we still have a lot of spraying ahead of us between spraying fertilizer and herbicide so it should be a fun and interesting time getting all this spraying done so we'll see I guess how that goes Definitely wish it would stop raining though. It'd be nice if it would. Or if I can make it stop raining. That way we weren't having to spray in the rain or plant in the rain even. But fortunately the game has other ideas. But we can't wait. We gotta get this stuff done. So we're just gonna keep pushing along I guess. Excuse me. 
But we'll see, I guess, how much of this field we can get done before uh, today's video is done. And then, if anything, I'll probably just finish it off camera and then get this tractor and planter cleaned up and put away. And then get the uh, sprayer over here so that way we can just go ahead and get started right away on fertilizing this corn, these corn fields. And get that done and then we can move on to spraying some herbicides so that way we can get on to some hay making. Because we are going to have a whole hell of a lot of that ahead of us. There's going to be a lot of hay to uh, cut, rake, bale, and hopefully a pretty decent amount of bales to haul as well. Um, so we'll probably get a lot of that done. Maybe uh, even, well, we will be grinding some bales eventually as well, so we'll have that to do as well. That one we might wait with until later, but we'll see. Because uh, I want to do a little more realistic approach rather than just dumping a bale into the feed wagon. I want to grind the bales up first and then put it in so it's chopped up and stuff, so to speak. Um, a little more like you would in real life rather than, you know, because in real life you don't take your mixer wagon and just dump a bale in there. I mean, I'm no expert on mixer wagons because we don't, we've never used one, we just feed chopped hay, um, but yeah, pretty sure that that is not how a TMR mixer works, or feed mixer, or whatever you'd like to call it, but uh, regardless of what you want to call it, I am pretty sure that that is not how it works. We're at least going to get a semi-decent portion of this field done, which will be good. Yeah, I definitely wish that this planter uh, direct seeded, but fortunately it does not, so we're just going to have strips of stuff sitting in our field I guess which is alright we'll get them taken care of eventually ahead and do third headland pass up here. Whew. Now we're going to go along this edge one more time as well and then we should be good to get this finished up.
So I guess once the timer goes off, we'll see what we kind of have left on this field. Maybe we can just finish this field up in this video. We'll see. I don't know, I'm kind of getting uh, sick of planting videos, and this is the last one. So I guess, I guess we could go ahead and just finish it out. I'll make this video a little longer and just get it done. Yeah, I'm hell with it. We might as well. I mean, we could have had this field done if we weren't doing other stuff. You know, moving header trailers. Getting headers loaded on trailers and sent to the farm, that kind of stuff. I mean, if we were just focusing on this, we would have had it done, so. We may as well just go ahead and finish it. And like I said, too, it's the last day of planting, so let's just get it done, get it over with, get it finished up, get it good to go. And we are one step closer to our uh, harvest season. Well, I missed a little bit of corn there, but that's all right. I was thinking we may just end up chopping this entire field here. Just chop the whole thing, turn it into silage. And then whatever's left, we'll just use on, or we'll just use uh, 74 to fill whatever space is left on, uh, on the uh, silos, so should work that way yeah we're already about half done with this video or er, this field anyways not the video we're almost done with the video because we are almost done with the field so Let's get her done. Let's use these plow marks as kind of our GPS line. getting a little off there and this planter is going to do its sliding BS whatever it wants to slide I guess let it slide as long as it's not going you know way off to the side like it would if I was turning we're good as long as we're still planting I don't care Let's try and straighten this out since it kind of got a little goofy there. The timer's about to go off, so we're really not going to be running the video too much, too terribly much longer uh, by finishing this field off. So, like I said, we'll get this field finished off. We'll take these pieces of machinery back to the farm. We'll get them pulled up to the machine shed, or not to the machine shed, to the uh, um, this main shop. 
up to our heated shop and we'll get uh, get it cleaned up and then we'll get everything stored away back in the shed where it belongs and then we should be good to call it a video it's only got maybe what three passes left I'd say so we don't have much left to plant And then we'll finally have everything in the ground. Which has definitely been quite the process to do. I mean, we've got over two solid weeks of planting. Or, well, about two weeks of just straight up planting so it'll be nice to finally have this done we're gonna go ahead we're gonna turn the HUD off here so that way once we get flipped around I can snap a screenshot quick of our last pass of planting Let's grab a screenshot. And then we'll get this last little bit done. Alright. Let's get her folded up. And let's get her on back to the farm and clean up, put away. That way this thing can be done for the year finally. I mean, since we put, since we uh, had the GPS added to this tractor, we've put on three three solid hours on this tractor, and I think it did have maybe two hours on it before that, I think, or something, or an hour and a half. I don't know. We've got a we've got a good amount of use on this tractor already, just in planting our ground, so. I'm just going to leave the pickup set there for now. We'll come get it later. Alright. So, the tractor's almost fully clean already just from the rain. We're going to go ahead and get cleaned up the rest of the way. Get it looking shiny and brand new again. planter cleaned up so let's go ahead pull this guy up in front of our uh, large machine shed over here and 
get it unhooked and then we get uh, this tractor thrown in the shed. So let's kind of start getting it in there. But I'm not going to back it all the way in there with this tractor because of the duels. Uh, there's just not really enough space to get all the way to where this planter needs to sit with having these duels on. So, oh, we have a total of 5.3 hours on this tractor. We put three hours on that planter, I believe is what the three was for. Let's see if we can sneak this in here. Oh, man, we're not going to be able to sneak it in here. Put that Alice sitting there, I don't think. Might have to pull the Alice out. Actually, what we can do with this Alice Chalmers is let's go ahead. We're going to move it to the other side of the shop. Where there's a little bit more room for the big tractor like this. We're just going to stick it right, right here. Because. Our other, our uh, 7130, that's going to go in our springtime shed uh, where our fertilizing equipment is. So, uh, I'm not really going to have to worry about that guy too terribly much. Oops. Alright, so this shed can get closed up until fall harvest. Let's run up here, let's grab this skid steer. I'll go ahead and grab this planter. Okay, so we got that guy put back. I'll go ahead and get this guy put back in the shed so it stops getting so wet. Right there is going to work. Drop the loader down. Get that done, and then we'll get the door closed, and we'll be good to go. Alright, y'all. That's going to do it for today. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. Be sure to subscribe if you have not already. And make sure that you turn on the post notifications to be notified every time I upload a new video. Make sure you check out down below in the description where you can find my PC specs, my upload schedule, all of my social medias, as well as some links to some other cool YouTube channels that are worth taking a look at. Thanks for watching, everybody, and as always, we'll see you all tomorrow.